Make sure this package gets delivered with Javi's mail. You sure you won't find the bug on this thing? This will fit right in. Your wish is my command. Where did you get that creepy doll man from? You know my boss always sends us a gift when we wrap the film. I can't do this with that creepy doll man looking at me. I don't want to conceive our child while creepy doll man watches. What the hell, mommy? I thought you guys don't even do it anymore. Maisie wants a baby. Am I to deny her the gift of becoming a mother? Well, isn't it gonna be harder to leave her with a kid in the picture? My dear Cherry, I never said I had plans of leaving Maisie. You know what this is? Nothing more. Fine. Then I want my piece of cake. Oh, yeah, quieto. Hey, I may be Latino, but I need a couple of minutes. Fine. That's fine. Because I don't want her leftovers anyway. You go, girl. Okay, kids, today we are casting Metal Hombre Tres. Now, Javi really wants this to be his, his big blockbuster. I just can't believe movies like Metal Hombre Tres get made, and my script is like collecting digital dust. I have been trying for years to get Javi to read better scripts. He's just very content doing what he's doing. I mean, his films make a ton of money. So, don't hold your breath. All right, well, um, I guess I'll go fetch the first victim. That would be great. This is Alex. He's reading for you, Antonio. Yeah. Alex! Ah, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, been a really, a really long, long time. time. <laughs> it's, it's been, what, like 10 years? <laughs> Let's get yeah. um, Good to see you. Uh, I mean, God, we were... Oh, really, really young. young. <laughs> I I didn't know you were an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the whole college thing didn't really work out for me. Well, I hope my my being here doesn't throw no. you at all. Um, just just pretend I'm not here. Yeah, I, actually, Anya will be reading the part of Antonio's secretary. So um, just uh, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I okay. got it. <laughs> Seriously? What do you want me to do? She'll get bored after a while, just like she did with the little brown fluffy dog. Doctors say she can't even get pregnant anyways. I feel sorry for her. Oh, that makes me feel so much better that it was just a pity fuck. Dun dun dun. The plot thickens. Let me make it up to you. Dinner tonight at your favorite restaurant? Mm? Really? Anything for my little Cereza. Sorry. <laughs> I want to get ready. Time to make you mine. So much for coming in, and um, it was really nice seeing you. Keep in touch. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um. <laughs> old flame of yours? <laughs> just, uh, he's just an old boyfriend. That's all. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, isn't your daughter ten years old? I'm gonna put two and two together and say that Alex is the deadbeat dad that hasn't paid child support, right? Wow, you put that together all on your own. <laughs> you really are a genius. I'm glad I have a man that would step up to the plate. Where'd you meet this man? In lit class, I was instantly smitten. He's my professor. 
Your professor? Is that against school policy or something? Like I care about institutional policy? So what that he's 25 years older than me? He chose me over the other girls. You do realize that a man of his age and stature should know better than to take advantage of a girl your age. You don't know what you're talking about. For someone who has a genius IQ, you sure have a lot of life learning to do. If he is Susie's father, why isn't he paying child support? Well, I, he doesn't really know he's the father. What, why not? Well, it's simple, really. We were both really young and Alex was completely irresponsible and I just chose not to tell him. I figured I'd find him later. Well, it looks like Alex found you. I just don't want to bring someone into Susie's life who's not going to be good for her. You know, I've done a pretty great job on my own. Why complicate things? Natalie, every child deserves to know their father. Maybe. Depends on the father. <laughs> okay, this I do for you. I'll have Travis follow this man around town. See what his life is like. Then you'll know the right decision to make. Of course you would. <laughs> that would be... That would be great. Thanks, Harvey. Of course. A gift for you. It scares Macy. Please, take it. Oh, thanks. So what you got in store for me, Hefe? I need you to follow this man. Tell me how he lives his life. He is Susie's father. I need to make sure that he's fit to be in her life. No problemo. Set up for the next scene now. So anything good? If by good you mean a day of sex and porn, then yes. Javi's doing it with both Maisie and Cherry. Natalie's ex pays the rent with porn. It's been a day of spank bank material, that's for sure. I can't unhear that, can I? Maisie's like a rabbit, that one. Feisty. Sounds like she has strong thighs. <clears throat> Morning, Danielle. Morning, Anya. So, casting for the elusive Antonio the Metal Ombre continues? No, actually, it's been cast. Really? Who's a lucky guy? I cast Alex. Really? You cast your ex? You know what? He deserves a break, and he was a really good actor. That's more than good enough for a hobby film. And he's hot. Hotter than the professor? Let it go, Daniel. You ready, little buddy? 